Hello and welcome to next selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see CSS selectors, ID attribute and class attribute. How we are going to use that and with a small demo. Please stay tuned. We will learn ID and class attributes. Right. So the syntax is very simple. Uh, so in CSS selectors, if you wanted to use ID attribute of the HTML element, so there is a special character we have to use it in a similar way we have to uh, use uh, another sim uh, special character for class so first let us see how we can use id so for id we have to use hash symbol and then what is the value of the id attribute so this is a very basic and very simple syntax for using your id attribute in your css selectors right so for same if you wanted to use or if you wanted to filter a particular tag that type of tag html tag like input or your select or input uh, button so something like that so we can give the tag name before to that just like this tag name hash what is the value of the id attribute so this is the another way of writing your uh, syntax for id attribute so even if you wanted to filter out uh, with id attribute if you have multiple like 10 attributes 10 html tags or the same id attribute and uh, we wanted to filter out with some other attribute then we can filter out it is we use uh, within a square bracket like predicate in xpath and inside this you can give the attribute name say for example it as name attribute as a unique one then you can use that name attribute is equal to within single quotes you can give the value so this is the another way of writing your id attribute that's a very simple uh, way of writing your id attribute so the first way is we have to write using your normal has values and second way is you can filter out using your tag name third one is you can even filter out with your another attribute value right so this is the simple way of using your id attribute right the similar way we can use your class attribute as well so for class attribute we have to use dot okay so here we have to give class attribute value so this is a very simple way of writing your CS selector using your class value of the html element right the similar way for if you want to filter out with the tag you can give us no uh, tag name dot what is the class attribute value you can give it even if you want to filter out you with more just you can give tag name what is that uh, we have to use dot and we have to use class attribute value and if you want to filter out with any attribute it doesn't mean that some particular attribute any attribute which is available for the particular html element say uh, here we have uh, placeholder you can use it any attribute which is present in the particular html element so this is the very uh, simple syntax that we can use your for your id and class attributes let's take some example uh, so this is on zoho.com sign in page over here we can see multiple attributes here so let's inspect this particular web element first let's use uh, id attribute how we can use it just press ctrl f so here you can see small input text box is coming up so here you can find using your string or selector selector is a css selector and hex path so anything you can select okay so this is the input tag uh, which is present over here so this particular html tag has input tag name and data this zcqa as an attribute name and class attribute and its value id attribute and its value name attribute and its value type area label so these are the different attributes and its corresponding value available for this particular input text box okay that's the full name text box so now what we are going to do we are going to type in here full name work email address we are going to give and create password what is the phone number we are going to give right all using your id attribute or class attribute right let's write your uh, uh, id attribute how we are going to uh, use it so first we have to use for the id attribute as ash that is a special character we have to use to find out and what is the value 
that's all so we can see in the right side one of one it's a unique element it is identified so this is that's all so this is how we have to write your id attribute this is very simple and it's easy to use also right let's uh, try over here driver dot find element by so here we have to use css selector right so first one is class name and this is the css selector so css selector within double quotes we have to give what is the value we have found for the input text box right and i wanted to type something over here so it is id attribute okay so this is the first one we have given okay this is the first one so let's write uh, with uh, this input uh, tag name with id attribute how it goes right uh, what is that next one is we'll take work email address and this is the uh, name field we have over here not this one let's remove this let's take work email address it has email id so it has input as a tag so let us write input as a tag name and we have to write hash and we have to give the value so we have to use id for finding out we don't have to give anything over here right so even it is narrowed down to the particular uh, tag name and it will give right so it will be easy for uh, selenium to filter out and uh, it will be it will be very quick if you are using more filters over here itself so let's find out that driver dot find element by for this also we have to use css selector and within double quotes we have to give what we have found so here i wanted to type send keys what i wanted to type id attribute at demo.com right so that's a uh, email address that we have to give and what is the third syntax is we have to give we can give uh, even with the filter name right so let's try this out how it goes uh, here in create password let's use that so let's remove this from here and then use it and work sorry create password so this is the password uh, label so here we can use it uh, using so this doesn't have id attribute and let's try here with this input yeah this has id attribute id attribute mobile yeah it is finding out and it it has input and we can even further drill down to another attribute what is the attribute we can use we can use name attribute so use name as it is the attribute name and value whatever it is right still it has further it, it is drilled down it is even easy for selenium to quickly find it out right let's type something over here driver dot find element uh this fine css selector right what is the selector we have found and dot send keys let's type some numbers it's a four number so we have to type 10 numbers for india right so this is very simple uh, id attributes that we have given so first one is ash just uh, id attribute value second one is filtering out with further input tag name third one is even filtering out with the another attribute right so let's try running this run as just so stay tuned it will be very easy to use with the id attribute so in next one what we are going to do is the similar way we are going to use the class attribute all three input tags we are going to use the same with class attribute how it goes so here it has to type full name work email and phone number all these three it has to type so still it is loading so it has to wait for some more time so selenium will wait until complete page loads so if you are using get uh, method to launch your uh, website url 
yeah you can see over here it has typed id attribute its work email and phone number correct so we have given all these three using css selectors id attribute right so let's try uh, all these three using the class attribute how it goes right first one will be inspect this first uh, full name whatever it is so it has class name as signature username so let's see that uh, what we have to for class we have to use dot and what is that that's all so it has it has find one of one right uh, let's copy this use it over here let's comment this complete part and the same let's use them copy and paste it using class just syntax is completely same from selenium side only the value within the double quotes it will change that's all the nothing else will change only that uh, locator will change right next let's find out a email address how we can find out work email so it's a work email so it has class name as uh, this one email yes g n e so it it has input dot so it has found one of one right let's try this also over here instead of that let's try this and the next one is uh, this phone number we have to give using class name further drill down to another attribute so it has it doesn't have any class name so let's try create password uh, create password uh, yeah it has uh, class name yeah it has class name so let's use this it's a input tag dot signature it has found one of one but we wanted to uh, still drill down what is that we can use this particular name as password so it found one of one right so let's give over here let's see demo script right so there are one more uh, thing let's try running this there are one more thing that uh, using your class name so if the class name has uh, class attribute has multiple class names say for example class is equal to within double quotes you can see class one space class two uh, like that so this is the two three different things that's using class we have typed right so that works fine so what we were talking about is uh, some uh, classes right it will have uh, different classes uh, with the, with space uh, say for example let's take this as an example see over here this particular class as uh, you can see right multiple class name combined in this say let's uh, find out over here it will not find it so because it uh, it doesn't have see so using dot only it has to find right so but it is not finding because it has the space so in that case how we have to use it right so we have to use instead of space give dot for all the space you have to give dot so it will find it so even in your script also selenium we have to use like this only so we cannot use it with space and only the first time first in the first place we have to use only dot another places we have to use a space so we it will not work right so we have to use dot wherever space comes this is another uh, thing that we have to keep it in mind right so i i hope this uh, session was useful guys so thanks for watching please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and if you have any queries please leave it in the comments